and welcome back to part two of how to make Windows XP look like Mac OS X. If you are experiencing an error in iTunes similar to this one or receiving any iTunes error message, this can be easily fixed. Simply click OK and go over to your dock, drag the iTunes icon there and it deletes it off of your dock. iTunes is still on your computer. What you need to do is you need to go to the control panel. Once you're in the control panel, you need to go to your Add or Remove Programs. Go ahead and find where it says Fly a Kite OS X. Click Change. And we are going to go in to Software. And click where it says iTunes Multi Plugin. What that's trying to do is it's trying to load something from an old version of iTunes in on top of your new version. Click Uninstall. After your uninstall is completed, click Next and Finish. Now what we need to do is we need to re-update that link. By default, Windows puts things on the C drive in the Programs files and it's installed on the iTunes folder. Open that, click where you see iTunes.exe and go over and drag that to your dock where you want it and let go. Click it and iTunes will be brought up. This fixes your iTunes problems and any error messages that you may have with iTunes. Now then a big question you might be asking is, how do you get rid of this Mac theme? Well, this is very simple. Go up to and click your Apple icon. Go to Control Panel. Add or remove programs. To uninstall this, make sure you have your UT um, Tinder, or UX Tinder, and you need to run the installation file again. This time you're going to click the Restore button, and we're not going to click that now because we are currently wanting to keep this in the Mac side uh, for other demonstrations. And then after that, you can go into Add or Remove Programs, and you can find fly a kite OS X click change or remove and you click the all of those there and then click uninstall then after a reboot you'll still see some of your Mac stuff you'll have to go back in and unclick all of those and then click the remove uninstaller and backup files and uninstall you have to uninstall it twice and then after that reboot uh, go ahead and everything should be back to the way it was before you made any changes. Visit us at youtube.com slash techweekreview, livestream.com slash techweekreview, or techweek.tk. And remember to subscribe. We thank you for watching.